All right, we're looking at our Hyatt Regency camera. It's looking so pretty at Caesars Superdome, and everybody wants to know how's the weather for Sunday. So let's just get right to it. I'll show you. Here is a look. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 80s, and you'll notice I've got some rain chances in there. Frankly, I see that better chance of rain kind of being south of the city, but just be aware. Yes, you could have a shower around, but I mainly see it mostly sunny and hot. All right, let's look at what's happened this year. So far, we've had six storms, two of which became hurricanes. By this time, you would normally expect to have nine storms, four become hurricanes, and one to two majors. So thankful that does not happen. Watching a couple of other areas with low chance for tropical development, we're mainly watching Fiona, which has winds right now of 50 miles per hour, forecast to become a hurricane, a cat one with winds of 80 miles per hour. So here is a look. There's Guadalupe. Looks like it's right over Guadalupe now, officially moving west at about 15, but you can see a little bit of a northward bump. Still has dry air, still has some wind shear. In fact, an upper high very close to it. You can see why it would have a little bit of a northward bump with that upper high. So the forecast track brings it south of Puerto Rico, right over the Dominican Republic, which is mountainous, so that would knock it down a bit, and then moves it into warm water where it's forecast to intensify. But look at the forecast models. They're all grouped right over the Dominican Republic and then bring it to the north. So I'm hopeful that it will indeed stay out in the Atlantic. Here is a look at the ensemble models of the global forecast model, and indeed it takes it to the north, possibly some impact for the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas. For us, it's going to be warmer this weekend with increasing humidity, some rain chances, and then next week, high pressure builds in. The dew point or the humidity drops a little bit, but wait, temperatures are going up. We're going to be in the low 90s, and fall is going to arrive. So timing a little off there. We've got that front offshore, some rain offshore, and this front will be a contributor to where Fiona goes, helping it to go off to the northeast with the southwest flow ahead of it. At this point, really not seeing much rain. We've had a couple of showers, it looks like, right over by Raceland not much, and a little bit of rain offshore, and isolated rain again tomorrow along the coast, so keep that in mind. But this evening, the weather is cooperating for high school football. Look at this. We're in the upper 70s to low 80s this evening. And in the morning, yep, there's a little bit of rain popping up along the coast, upper 60s to the upper 70s. During the day, we will have some widely scattered activity mainly closer to the coast, but look at this. Into South Mississippi and portions of the North Shore, some rain. Then in the evening, that rain begins to dissipate. So not a perfect sunshine weekend with, I am expecting some activity along the coast, especially in the morning hours. Sunday morning, you've got some rain lows, low to the upper 70s. Here we are noontime, kickoff for the Saints. And there is some rain south of the city, just west of the city. So just be aware of some activity will be around. But then into the afternoon, it's dissipating metro, looking stormy over here in Terrebonne and by St. Mary Parish. Then the weather improves into the evening when we're celebrating, right? So your forecast, upper 80s to near 90 for the weekend. Next week, looking hot. Fall officially arrives on Thursday. The high, you guys? 93. Oh, it'll still be hot. All right. Thank you so much, Mark.